Today on Cloud Renegade, we're going to talk about Microsoft Teams licensing. Hey all, Adam Ball here, Cloud Renegade. And today we are going to kick off the first part of a three-part series talking about Microsoft Teams licensing. In part one, we're going to talk about the core capabilities of Teams and what do you get uh, when you purchase that. And then second, the second episode is going to be all about the audio conferencing license. And then the third episode will be all on the phone system license. So if you've been having questions around what do I get and when and how does the audio conferencing or phone system license play in, stay tuned and here we go. When purchasing Microsoft Teams. People ask me this all the time in the day job. What do I get? And at the end of the day, it's pretty simple when we're talking about the core functionality. In the core functionality, we're, we're going to get that when we purchase an E1, E3, or E5 license SKU. And we're going to dive right in. I'm going to go right over to the Microsoft website here, and we're going to talk through this uh, because as you can see, you're going to end up with Microsoft Teams, again, in the E1, the E3, and the E5. What does that mean, though? What this means is that you get uh, the benefits of Teams and channels, including private channels. You also get that ability to do one-on-one -on -one messages, or we also commonly refer to that as instant messaging. But then the last piece is that you also get meetings for up to 300 people. These meetings are where we can join in on Microsoft Teams and have that meeting and have screen shares. Can We can do video. We can do all of the things that we know and love uh, and that we're all probably used to within Teams. All of this comes within your E1, E3, or E5 license SKU. So if you've already purchased one of these, you already own Teams. Um, many companies have tried to turn it off, and I just always tell people, if you own an E1, E3, or E5 license SKU, turn on all the features, take advantage of it. Otherwise, what you're gonna find is, is that you're limiting yourself and you're limiting your users. So when, again, when we're talking about Microsoft Teams, owning an E1, an E3, or E5, gets you all of Teams from that core functionality of collaboration, uh, messaging, and meetings. And that includes person-to-person -person calls. So like if I've got a coworker and I want to call them on Teams, I can make that audio and audio video call. So I can be on video, I can be audio only. I get all of those features here. If this was helpful just to understand a little bit about it and you're interested in more, stay tuned for episodes two and three on the audio conferencing license and the phone system license. And we'll see you real soon.